What's up guys, today I am going to show you a sports edit tutorial on how to make a shadow. So what I'm going to do is first get my uh, player I'm going to use, I'm using Adrian Peterson high quality pick. Um, and I'm not going to explain how to get the high quality picks in this video, maybe I'll do it in another video if you guys want. Um, and I mean not just like high quality picks, like I mean like really really high quality picks. Um, but yeah, so that's not for today, so I'm just going to show you how to do a drop shadow. Um, and when I say drop shadow, I don't mean the ones where it's just like right behind the player. I mean actually like a shadow, um, where it's like actually lighting, like a lighting effect, you know what I mean. Um, so what I'm going to do is obviously rasterize the layer. And then all you need to do, uh, we have to do is click select so we can get it so it's just the player's um, shadow, not the whole image. Um, so just do a rough quick select. I'm not going to make it perfect because it's not going to be an actual edit. I'm just showing you guys how to do the shadow. You guys can do it in your own edits. But the shadow is really good for when you make designs. Um, it just makes it look a lot nicer. I use them all the time. So let me just quickly do this Oops. now I've, I know how to I'm gonna try and show you another um, kind of uh, feature of the drop shot that you can do to it um, I haven't really actually used it before but I know how to do it um, so I'll just show you guys as well what you can do to make it look a little better. So let me just finish this up. Just about done. Um, that. Boom. And that's good enough. Copy, paste, that's pretty much it. It's fine. Okay, so now what you gotta do is on your layer, your new layer with the player, right click, go to blending options, and then go to drop shadow, and then over here, you're gonna change the opacity to 50, and then click OK, and then now where you see the drop shadow right here, right click drop shadow, go down to create layer, and now it's a new layer, and now all you have to do is press Control T, and you can move it around, so I usually do this, I would hold Control click right in the middle, um, top middle tab and drag down like this and you can mess around with this thing um, you can make it a little skinnier like that kinda like that Just move it around um, about right there maybe that looks good I guess um, and then, uh, so this is like pretty much the drop shadow. Um, now what you can also do is, I'm going to try it now, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, let's try one, no, okay, let me move it up, I don't know, I've never really used Gaussian blur, so we're going to move it up a bit, oh, there we go, so if you move it up, you can see it gives it too much, a little cool effect to it so it's not like completely straight because usually shadows aren't like that you have it a little bit of blur um, so this makes it look nicer do about eight so you can see this is how it was that one it looked realistic and now it's like that so it looks a lot better and so when you add like lighting effects so like I'll add this one real quick put it right here Oops, it's too much. You can see you got the nice little shadow effect going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, quick little tutorial. Um, if you have any tutorial requests, um, leave it in the comments. Um, I have to say I have gotten really good at NFL swaps and uh, jersey swaps overall. Um, so I could give you a lot better updated tutorial on that. I'll show you just one quick swap of my favorite NFL swap that I've done. Um, let me bring it in. Um, where is it? Right here. That was requested by one of my friends, um, Richard Sherman to the Niners. So, yeah, guys.
I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any requests, like I said, uh, let me know in the comics comment section. And yeah, please like, subscribe, and favorite this video. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.